we talk about why someone would try to sabotage their careers or maybe just the specific situations you found yourself in? Um, yeah, I encountered that with a lot of people, even people that not in the movie, is that it's, it's almost like when you get something, you always sense that, well, you have this kind of instinctive behavior that like you know what let me just like ruin it let me sabotage what's happening with me why is that happening i don't know i'm not a psychologist i don't know where where, where what's the root of that behavior but some people get restless and in the town it's almost like i think they go into business and they think that if they get work um that it's going to be a constant creativity and i think when people start to realize that it's really almost a business where it's stagnant, you know, I mean, you know, like doing a movie, it's not like you're on a stage and you get to be yourself or you get to be the character, but it's really from, you know, you stand here, move over there, cut, it's like it's very tedious and I think people get burned out. So I guess maybe that's what leads to the sabotage, I don't know. But um, I've always seen that tend to be um, People get restless and they just don't want to do it and they start to pass on projects, they start to get very irritated, they start to feel like they just don't want to talk to people, they don't want to deal with it. Um, and, and it's the same thing for actors and filmmakers, you just get very... Um, but I don't know if I've, I've never had the sabotage thing, I think it's because... I think anybody gets into filmmaking, you're really more willing, I guess it's more work. I'm not saying that it's more work, you know, being a filmmaker than an actor. But it's almost like you have to, you're shooting, you're recording audio, you're editing. It's if you pass that period, I don't think when somebody pays you that the, the sabotage exists as much as with the actors. It's like I think the actors get very comfortable once they get a lot of work and then they get burned out and then they start to like just uh, retaliate in a way, but not all. So at some point you said, I'm leaving L.A., and did you destroy the film first, or did you leave L.A. first? Uh, no, I destroyed the film when I moved. Um, because, I, again, I took the boxes with me, and I was um, thinking, all right, you know, I mean, it's my footage, right? So I figured I'll just hold on to it, maybe somebody will call, but nobody called. And then it got to a point I felt like staring at the, 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 the film reels was almost like... Uh, too depressing that I felt like okay in order to move on from here to here I need to just kind of wipe this off it's because you know you leave town then you have you still have your film with you and it has that association with you I felt like if I got rid of it I would uh, uh, reset and how did you feel once you knew that the film was mm -hmm. destroyed yeah, it was just you know but it was already destroyed in a sense of like it wasn't gonna come out so in my mind it was already done and uh, but I felt like it just was liberating to just get rid of that cut completely. You know, it was like a truckload. Well, you would think like just one cut of your movie is like, yeah, because like tons of reels and audio and all that stuff. But it did have, back in the vault, I think it was stacked in here in, uh, in one, uh, one of the vault places that you rent by the year, like very cheap. Uh, that the, Some of the original tapes were still sitting here, which I completely even didn't remember. And um, because you're always making duplicates, and so there was a whole set in here in LA, but not the original cut of the movie, like not carving, just the original raw footage was here. So you've destroyed the film, you're out of California. How are you rebuilding your mindset? Because I'm sure when you get to that point, there's like this bitterness and, and you just want to give up on everything. How did you rebuild your mindset so you felt refreshed? Well, it's, uh, it's more of, um Detaching yourself from that project. It's almost like you become more um, There's It's like a dog and a bone you know, it's like it's this project You're always staring at it. You're always thinking about it And it's like you have to get to a point where you go. Okay. This is one project It's like if I made this one project I'd make another one So you just have to completely like just like get rid of it and that was just more of separating myself from it If that answers your question. Separation. Yeah So then how do you come back to it? and make my big break? Um, once I felt clear. Once I felt clear and I let go of that, of carving, of what happened with carving, then I was like, you know, if I did the first one, I could do it, I could do it again. And I had, I think once I realized too, that I actually had more, and instead of just the tell, uh, telling the four actors' story, 
adding the filmmaking process in the film uh, that that would make actually the movie better than carving and I think that's what kind of um, ignited the excitement in my mind and I was like oh it's like I have a better project than what I had before so then that kind of um, you know made me feel like I should do this now so in carving you you weren't part of the equation no I wasn't I didn't even speak in carving I didn't narrate I didn't appear I was almost I was the camera you know but then once years have passed I wanted to update on the guys see what happened with everyone I mean just tell what happened with everyone to a certain degree and um, and I felt like it would be also interesting to kind of give people a sense of like you know you would get two things in the movie you'll get the filmmaking process and the acting process before during after of just being here for years and working on something just something would be honest and truthful and also I felt like if I'm gonna tell uh, a story about the guys of like the rise the fall the doubt um, I would it be fair to them to actually tell my own fear and doubts and you know success and failure etc so that would be good